Welcome to Back to the Basics, the series where I show you how to do cool stuff related to Minecraft servers and modding. And today I'm going to show you how to install shaders. So this is what Minecraft looks like without shaders. And this is what the same shot looks like with shaders. In my opinion, big improvement. But how do you install them? Because shaders is not something that is natively built into Minecraft, we need to install a mod that adds shader support. The two most popular mods that do this are Optifine and Iris shaders. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install both of them. Let's start with Optifine. A link to this website can of course be found in the description down below. Over here, you simply want to click on Downloads. After that, you want to choose your version of Minecraft. It will always show the latest one on top. And when you click on Show All Versions, you will get a big list with all the versions that Optifine supports. Now, two things that I feel like are important to mention is first of all, the versions. Optifine can take quite a long time before it gets updated for a new version of Minecraft. So even though at the time of making this video, 1.21.5 has been out for a while already, Optifine still doesn't support it. This is quite common and one of the reasons that many people opt for iris shaders instead. Now second, Optifine is a forge mod. Now you don't have to worry about the mod loader. The Optifine installer will also come with a mod loader, so that's really handy. But let's say you're already running another mod loader and you're hoping to to add Optifine to that mod loader, you won't be able to unless you're already running Forge. So good to keep in mind. From here, we simply want to click on download. Then we got to wait for a bit and click on skip in the top right. And after that, you simply want to click on download again, which will then initiate it. After that, you simply want to double click the jar file, which will then open up the Optifine installer. Over here, all you want to do is simply click on install. You got to wait for a bit and there you go. Optifine is successfully installed. When you now boot Minecraft in the bottom left, you will now see a new installation that's called Optifine, which means you're good to go. After you boot your game, you can now simply navigate to Options, then Video Settings, and after that, Shaders. And bam, there we go. In the bottom left, you will now have an option to open the Shaders folder, and then you can simply drag your shader packs inside, and you're good to go. Let's move on with the second method, Iris Shaders, the one I personally use. Of course, once again, a link to this website can be found in the description down below. Over here, you simply want to click on Download Now, which will then take you to this download page. And over here, you have two options to install Iris. You can either opt for the Iris installer, which will install Iris Shaders for you alongside all of its dependencies. So it will install the mod loader, it will install Sodium and Iris Shaders with just a single click. But if if you are already running a mod loader and with a mod loader, I mean a version of Fabric, Neoforge or Quilt, then you will be able to also just download this mod and add it to your mods folder. For the purpose of this video though, I'm just going to download the Universal Jar. After downloading it, you simply want to double click and this will then open the Iris installer. So over here at the top, you can choose your Minecraft version. I'm just going to go for the newest one as of making this video, 1.21.5. And then over here, you can choose if you just want to install Iris or if you want to install Iris plus Fabric. If you're choosing this installer, you most likely also still need to install the mod loader itself. So I would recommend going for Iris plus Fabric and then just clicking on install. Now, if you've installed any mod loader before, it will notify you that a mods folder already exists. And if you are sure you want to install Iris, well, we do. So I'm just going to click on yes. And there it is. We're good to go. If you now boot your Minecraft launcher again in the bottom left, you should now have a new Fabric loader installation that has a version that matches with the version of iris you just installed then after booting your game in the bottom left you should now see a bit of text that says fabric modded if that is the case for you it is successfully installed we can now simply go to options after that video settings and then you can see the menu here has completely changed but we can now go to shader packs at the top and there you go click on open the shader packs folder to add shaders and after that it is a matter of dragging them in and you're good to go now, if you don't really know where to get shader packs, there are many different websites where you can download them from. My personal favorite is ModRinf. So simply go to ModRinf. At the top, go to Discover Content and after that, click on Shaders. And there we go. We're now in a big list with all sorts of shader packs you can install. Simply click on one that you like. After that, click on Download. Make sure to select the correct version. And after that, select the shader mod you have chosen. So I'm going to go for Iris. 
Click on Downloads. After dragging the downloaded zip file in the Shader Packs folder, it will show up over here. Now you can simply click, apply, and you're good to go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Man, I love shaders. And that is going to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel. Join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.